Hi, everybody. It's Chuck Gilmore with Power to Sing Live, number 187. Nice to have you with me today. It is a beautiful summer day in my area of the world, in, in and around the area of Salt Lake City, Utah. It is, uh, oh, it was 97 degrees yesterday. I don't think it's quite as hot today, but uh, wind is blowing, the sun is shining, and there's high fire danger warnings all week long because we're going to have high winds. So what about you guys? Uh, I hope you're having a good summer and a safe and healthy summer, staying away from that big, bad, mean old virus and, um, you know, those kinds of things that we don't want to get. Okay, so I'm trying to find, first thing I want to know is, can you hear me and can you see me? <laughs> Can you hear me and can you see me? The other day I was broadcasting to um, my uh, members of my uh, Singers Impact and I talked for 25 minutes <laughs> and found out that they were waiting for me to come on. I don't know what happened, but can you hear me and see me? Okay, thank you very much. All right, how is everybody doing? Gosh, there's lots of people. Hey, Venice, you're going to hang out with me tonight? That's so nice of you. Uh, Hi to the Bunny Musical. Nice to have you here. Life is Laney. Hi, Life is Laney. Great to have you. And Riz, nice to have you here. Alejandro, great. Nice to have you. Newark, uh, super. Nice, nice to have you guys. Jimmy Tran, hi. I'm doing well. And how are you, Jimmy? Um, so good to see you. Oh, the Bunny Musical from India. Wow, it's. Oh, gosh, it's got to be pretty late there tonight for you guys. Um, okay, so, good. Everyone's giving me the loud and clear signal, and that's what I'm hoping for. Okay, so, mixed voice. The, the topic today is uh, how to get a mixed, a strong mixed voice. And I suppose the first thing we've got to do is get mix going. So what is mix? It's when you have a blend of two things. Like if you're making a birthday cake, you have to blend you know, water in with flour. That's at least that much. And so <clears throat> you gotta have at least two things to mix something together. So this mixture that I'm talking about here is chest voice <laughs> and head voice. So we want to be able to take these two things and mix them together. So um, for the men, that generally begins on the E above middle C. E, F, F sharp. That's where you're going to want to mix. And for the ladies, A above middle C, B flat, B, and C. So we want, we want you to be able to have a blend of your chest and your head voice going at the same time, coming out of your mouth combined. So that implies, first of all, that we're not in falsetto. If we're on, in falsetto, we cannot mix. If we're pulling up the bottom of the voice, the chest voice, we're just pulling up chest voice. So pulled up chest would be oh, There's no mix there. I'm just pulling up the chest voice. Or if I were to break in the falsetto oh, I can't mix that. There's nothing to mix. All I have is false, false voice. So in falsetto, if you're in falsetto, you're not in mix. If you're pulled up chest, you're not, you're not in, you can't be in mix. So that leaves now the, the blend of the chest voice and the head voice. So how do we get there? I've got a couple comments here. Uh, RJ, great to see you here. Thank you. Nice to have you here. Khalil. Uh, uh, Ian, hi. Nice to have you here, Ian. Um, life of C. All right. All right. Just catching up here real quick. Um, I am doing well, thank you. And the evil genius, hi, nice to have you here. He says, evil genius says, I'm flip falsetto. Chuck, you look so fresh and healthy. 
it's the it's the color of my <laughs> well i've been working on it you know um exercising and trying to eat right dropped a little weight and i'm going to keep going all right so hey george nice to have you here great to see you and harsh van varden Varden, nice to have you here. Uh, I get confused between mix and false voice. Is there any exercise in which it's not possible, in which it's not possible to go into falsetto? Is there any exercise where you simply can't go into falsetto? Oh gosh, right now, off the cuff, I cannot think of any exercise where um, it's possible to not just not like it would prevent you from going into falsetto uh, if some of you have an idea of what that might be let me let me know in the comments right now i think it's possible to go into falsetto um on just about any exercise rj says how do you how to get this mix it's been a long time for this uh, but when whenever i go higher there's too much nasal which I can't observe myself. Yeah. The nay nay exercise, Jimmy, is, uh, yeah, for sure. So we're going to talk about a couple exercises here to get you going in mix. And then we'll talk about a strong mix, okay? Just know this if you're in falsetto, you can't be in mix. If you're pulling up the bottom, you're just pulled up chest, just, just yelling. And so some people get that confused. They go very um, loud and hard and think that's mixed because they haven't broken in the falsetto. That's just pulled up bottom, pulled up chest. So what are the exercises now to get you into this condition of mix? Or in other words, a blend of chest and head voice. <clears throat> Let's start with something very simple. And I'll just do something for the guys. Now, that's the beginning of it. Put your fingers in your frown and lift up. And then you're saying, uh, uh, and with your voice, uh, and the lips, blowing air through your lips, you combine the two. Same thing for the ladies, only up here, it would be... Now, that top note for the ladies is the A. That's the first note in your bridge. That's where you want to begin to have that mix going, at least by then. It's okay to mix earlier than that, but the A is the beginning of the bridge. You've got to be in mix there. Guys, the E is the beginning of your bridge. to the A, I must have skipped a couple of half tones. Guys, we just stop right there is okay. So that condition that you hear in your voice and you feel in your voice is mix unless you go into falsetto. I'll show you that in a minute. Meanwhile, ladies through it ladies on that C sharp so those are all your mix notes now the bubble lip works really well to get you into condition where the larynx stays down you're not pulling your chest voice up and uh, if you do if you do that as I just showed you you're gonna be in a mix now here's what happens for some people 
Uh, this question was asked earlier, is there, any, is there any exercise I can do that I don't break in the falsetto? You could even break in the falsetto on this one. You don't want to say So you've got to maintain that, that sense of connected tone. So it's a B flat to the B flat. And so I went through the guy's bridge and halfway through the lady's bridge. And so that was on that mix because I didn't let it go into, uh, I did not allow it to, the tone to crack. That, that crack in the middle there, now it's impossible for me to mix because it's severed from the chest. I, there's no connected, there's no connection to the bottom. I don't have any connection to my chest voice once I go into falsetto. So I, I, I can't go into falsetto. So on that, on that bubble lip, when, just make sure you're not going into falsetto. Another way of doing the bubble lip that makes it a little bit easier is this. That's all the way up to the A flat, guys. And for the ladies, another way of doing yours. is all the way through. Use your fingers. I can't do it. Use my fingers and play the piano at the same time. But that's, that's the scale that you want to do, ladies, to get a little bit of a run at it. Now another great exercise to establish this connected tone, this connected tone through your bridge is, is your mixed voice, is with that tongue trill. Okay, that's on all the exercises we just did, you can do it with the tongue trill also. Keeps the larynx down, the tone stays connected, and um, in some cases the tongue trill is even, that the tongue trill is pretty hard to break. If you do the tongue trill with your lips closed over it, it's hard to break in the falsetto. Falsetto. Okay. Um, hi to, hey Kyle, nice to have you here today. Thank you. I am doing well. Um, impressive, very, uh, uh, very helpful. Uh, we're going to do some more exercises here to establish the mix, to get that mix started. Uh, Kyle said, I, I found that when I do the bubble lips, uh, those rare times I actually do them correctly, they prevent me from going into falsetto. I think it's really helpful because it keeps the larynx down and the tongue trill with the lips over it is a really, it's a triple resistor. The air is being resisted by the vocal cords, the tongue and the lips and it keeps the larynx down really well. It's hard to break in the falsetto with that one. Hi Be uh, Bella, nice to have you here today. Am following you, well thank you. Uh, the evil genius, 22, okay, bye, I have to study for tomorrow's test, <laughs> my COVID-19 test, just kidding, yeah, all right, good to have you here, evil genius, my tone, uh, uh, Harsh uh, Vardhan says, my tone gets extremely light, there is not a big break, but the voice gets extremely thin, not sure if it's, if it's mixed voice or falsetto, um, if you can't feel it, a break or crack in the middle. If there's not that give, that that sudden disconnected feeling, you're probably not breaking. It's just going lighter. Now it may not be uh, as light as you think, because what we hear inside us does, is not necessarily what people hear on the outside. Um, MK, hi, nice to have you here today. I always look forward to these sessions. Thanks. 
nice to have you here. Um, um, Ray Misha, nice to have you here. When trying to use the voice test on your website, which one should be used for teenage boys? If your voice has changed, use the lower voice, the men, the men's voice. If it still is not changed yet, then use the, the, either the women's or the higher voice. And um, should, they be, should they use the one for women and children or men? So if the voice has changed, try the men, okay? Life as lady says, I find that my voice gets hoarse and scratchy easily, even after just talking for a while. My vocal endurance isn't great. Do you have any advice for this? Thank you so much. Yeah, you know, um, life as lady, the exercises that we talk about today are really going to be helpful. Most of the time when we're... Um, yeah, just talking is, is, is actually probably more strenuous than singing, if we're singing correctly. But it's so easy just to get into throat talking, you know, to, to not engage the diaphragm and to not use a low breath and to not kind of project your voice a little bit. And it wears out. I do the same thing. I'm sitting in this piano. I start slouching. And pretty soon I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, my voice is getting tired. So we have to stay engaged. We have to be thinking what we're doing. We have to take this low breath, like there's a little balloon down in your tummy, fill it up with air, then pull that tummy in a little bit, gently, easily. Don't jerk it in, but pull it in to give yourself, to give the voice a little support. And uh, in addition to that, the exercises we cover today are going to help. Bubble lips, tongue trill are the gold standard <laughs> for... Um, getting this started in your voice. It just works so well. Hey, Billy, nice to have you here today. Thanks for joining us. Two Chucks Highest. Okay, teenage 14 years old is still changing. Yeah, so uh, Ramesha, see if you can reach the low notes for the men. They're not that low. They're just down here. You should be okay. Up here, 356. Surprisingly, when I do bu when I do bubble lips or trills, especially, I bring tension into my voice. Maybe because I push too hard. Definitely a raised larynx singer with bad habits, if that helps. Yeah. So PR is three. If you can do it medium, me medium loud, that would be ideal. The louder we do it, the more stress we put into our neck and uh, the surrounding muscles around the vocal cords, and it makes it harder. If you can do it a little bit softer, I find it kind of helps to be a little bit dopey too, the like like you're kind of the um, a cartoon character like uh, Scooby Doo. So um, the dopey sound helps. Now let's go on to a couple other exercises here to get you into your mix. This exercise I'm going to do on the one and a half scale, but I, I and, the, and we'll start at the guys, the guy, the guys' um, pitches. Don't do it loud. Nay, nay, nay. And so just kind of a quiet little nay, nay, nay. Nay, 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 Just loud enough that you have a connected tone. You don't want that to go in the falsetto. But that nay, nay, nay thins the bottom. The chest isn't that heavy. Nay, nay, nay. But it deepens the top because you get a little bit more into your voice at the top. So it doesn't go in the falsetto. Nay, 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 nay. Nay, 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 nay. Believe it or not, that's a soft mix. Now the larynx is slightly elevated there, just a little bit with that funny nay, nay, nay. But that's the beginning. You're connecting your chest to your head. 
head voice, it's not, it's not breaking into falsetto. You gotta have that. Ladies, you're starting at the C sharp and say, nay, nay. the V flat. So that exercise will start to build your connection from chest to head, down and back, and that's that's a requirement, of course, to, in order to be able to <clears throat> develop your mix. Now, let's go right on to another exercise, but it's different. So once you're able to do that nay, 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 then do it a different way. Start a little bit, start on the low end this time. Guys, if you would say, um, gee, gee, gee. and so you want to go a little bit dopey, a little bit like Scooby Doo. Gee, 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 gee. Well, you know what? I changed my mind. Let's start up high. Gee, 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 gee. Sorry, it looks like I'm clipping. In order to keep this high, uh, volume high, I, it looks like I went a little bit too high. You can hear it's a little bit hooty, a little bit hollow. I'm not saying that that just be a high larynx pulling the chest voice up. Allow it to go to that hollow hooty sound. Now, that's a way to do that exercise so it stays connected. You think it's falsetto, but it's not. It's just a it's a hollow, lighter, hootier feeling. But that's falsetto, you say. Well, if that's falsetto, what is? I could break into falsetto from there. It's not falsetto. It's just head voice. But us guys, we're not used to that. But that's your head voice. Ladies, same thing for you. Start at the top. Connected, connected tone, chest to head, head back down to chest, and that's what you got to have. That's the foundation. That is that is a form of a mix also. It's not a finished sound, but it's a mix. You've got to have that in order to get stronger, right? It's not falsetto. It's not pulled up chest. <laughs> Chest to head and back down again. Connected tone. That's the beginning of a strong mix. Okay, let me take a couple comments here. Um, okay, so, RJ, hi. Sir, is there anything like a God, a God gift voice? I mean, can anyone sing as high as Bruno Mars or do they have limitations? Well, that's a good, that's a good question. Yes, there is, there, there are such a thing as a gift you're born with. Uh, some people are born with perfect pitch. I was watching a documentary on Netflix and David Foster's found out when he was seven years old, he had perfect pitch. Um, and I know I got a, a friend or two that has perfect pitch. 
and uh, they're born with that. And they're, so there are definitely gifts that people are born with. Uh, as far as range, yeah, I think some people are born with range that enables them to sing really high, like Bruno Mars. But it's it's more or less the genetic, you know, it's the it's the it's the the length or the not how it's how short or how long the cords are, how thick and how heavy or how thin they are, and so forth, and the the bony structure. All those things are combined that uh, give a person their vocal capacity, men and women. And some are born with a kind of a natural ability to bridge or mix. Some uh, can just sing really high. Others can sing really low. And so they, they, you know, it's got all these different kinds of facility. It's a gift to be able to sing down here. I mean, uh, the gentleman that was, uh, I've forgotten his name, please forgive me, but uh, the bass in the... Uh, uh, Hundridge Boys, the, uh, <laughs> what's it called? Oak Ridge Boys. Um, bop, um, bop, um, bop, um, bop, um, bop, um, bop. And the, that gentleman has a voice that, you know, rocks the room with bass vibration. And he's, uh, you know, he's an awesome singer. And he, I think he, there's not much I can do to develop that kind of range. <laughs> he just can go where I can't. The, you know, the length and, and thickness of his vocal cords are such that, you know, that came with him from birth. I, have, I know students who, you know, they come in here and they sing the daylights out of things. And I said, and I ask, who in your family? I ask the mother, who in your family sings? Well, I sing. I've, I've always sung. Or, you know, or her, her dad really sings. Or, uh, oh, their grandmother is just such a singer. A lot of times I see this coming through the family line genetically. One of my good friends that I've done a show with, her, both her daughters have her vocal cords. <laughs> they were just born with this wonderful facility, and uh, it just happens. Now, I wasn't one of those fortunate ones, and, uh, and yet uh, it's possible. So what we have to do, if we're not born with it, then we have to learn a technique that helps us do it, which is what I'm teaching you today. I wasn't born mixing. I couldn't sing above the E, above middle C. I couldn't sing past that. I would just crack or break or yell, and I wouldn't do that. So, um, but now I can go well above that. That's the E. You know, so I learned how to do that with this technique. The things I'm teaching you today will do it. Okay, so um, Riz says, uh, when I sing, my voice is not clear. Riz, usually it's because the larynx is rising uh, and it gets scratchy and, and uh, most often it's the, the, the larynx is coming up or the sound is being kind of swallowed back in the back of your throat. Uh, Harsh var, Varden, Harshvarden. Thank you so much for these lessons, sir. God bless you. In India, we call people like you a guru. <laughs> well, thanks. Uh, you are doing a great, really great job. Lots of love. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Zara, Zara Gies. Hi, Zara. Although my voice is low, I can achieve quite high notes. The problem comes when I have to sing both in the same song. The transition seems impossible to me. My voice breaks every time. Yes, Zahar. Uh, uh, um, yes, it, it happens to many of us. And, uh, and that's what songs do. They go low, then they go high, and they go low, and we have to go back and forth over that. And so these exercises will help you uh, avoid that because they, they will, these exercises that I'm showing you today will help you keep the larynx down, will help you keep your tone connected, and will also help you uh, begin to combine chest and head voice and mix together. And that mix will help you stop cracking as you have to go back and forth. PR, uh, let me see, hee hee, I am, am I mixing if the placement that I'm using feels more forward? than when I'm being chestier, belt, 
The thing is that I find difficult to bring that forward placement as I go higher. So he he, uh, it's self. The, the exercises I'm giving you are self placing. Don't worry about putting the sound anywhere. It will go where it naturally will go, and it will be correct. If you do them like I'm showing you, if you put too, if you do them too loud, or you're squeezing it with your neck muscles, or you're raising your chin up and and uh, or you're pushing the chest voice too high. Uh, I can't, uh, you know, it's not going to help. But if you do them like I'm showing you, eventually you're going to, you're not going to have these issues. Um, the exercises they're teaching really has helped me bridge my registers, but I find in mix I'm still breathy and not resonant. Any comments on how to work that? Yeah. So <clears throat> we've we've talked about some of the like fundamental basic exercises, and. Um, I want to answer that question. Let me just blast through a couple of these other comments. PR three fifty six. So if you can switch into head voice, it's not falsetto. Correct. Yes, without breaking, it's head voice. It's not falsetto. Um, sir, is there any time limit for practicing these exercises, or can I do these all day long? Well, why do them all day? Uh, do them thirty minutes, really precisely correct, and then maybe do it fifteen twenty minutes later on in the day. Um, it's not so long. It doesn't. It's not so much about how long you do these. It's about how well you do them. How correctly your your technique is. If you're doing them incorrectly, you can do them 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and they're not going to help you. You're just reinforcing bad habits. So you want to do everything as demonstrated. And then if you do that, you can do it. If you spend an hour a day, that would be Awesome. Uh, okay, so life is Laney. How often should we be doing these warm-ups for? Uh, how long do you think it would take until we start seeing some improvement? Uh, you know, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes. You should start seeing improvement. Vladimir, hi, Vladimir. Nice to have you here today. How do you get past the level you demonstrated? How do you perfect that soft mix, hootie mix? It's really a question of the larynx staying down, and so it's um, it's like any sport. It's like learning to ride a bicycle. It's like uh, learning to play tennis or cricket or soccer, football, um, anything else. You know, someone who's really good at it. They show you what to do. They show you precisely. They give you all the technique tips, and then you have to go do the work. <laughs> Sometimes it takes. You know, days, months, weeks, years. I wish it was as simple as like, okay, do it this way, and you can just go do it, and everybody just goes off and has a great time doing it, and everybody makes records, and you know. But it takes it's it's we have to forget old habits. Number one, that's hard, very hard to forget old habits. Stop doing old habits, and two, learning new habits to replace the old ones that were wrong. Um, how long does that take? Pavarotti took him, he said, 10 years to get one note the way he wanted it, the F above middle C. He, he, he demonstrated, he said, that might sound easy, take maybe 10 years. So I hope you're, if you're better than Pavarotti, it'll be sooner than 10 years. Uh, of course, he was world class. We're talking about somebody who wanted it world class. Took him 10 years. How do I strengthen the lower voice? You strengthen, Isaiah, you strengthen your lower voice by keeping the larynx down. The exercises I'm teaching you today will actually, th so the quality of your low notes depend on the quality of your high notes. If your high notes are squeezed, yelled, pinched, grabby, your low notes aren't going to be that good. But if you get your high notes down really well, the low notes come in because the larynx is down. Solution Man, do you have advice for early morning vocal auditions? Ha <laughs> Solution Man. Yeah, so I just auditioned a couple of weeks ago at 10 a.m. and that wasn't too bad. So I, I tried to warm up at about 9, 9.15ish for about uh, 10 or 15, 20, about 15 minutes. I was kind of pinched for time, two Saturdays ago rather. And um, it came off. I, it came off 
Well, I uh, was able to get through. They wanted 30 seconds or less. I was able to do that. Um, I, I drank, I got up early and I drank 36 ounces of water. So that, that helps me to get hydrated as soon as I can get hydrated. And then I don't, I don't do exercises long. I do them about 15 minutes and, uh, maybe 20 at the most. And I do them at about an hour before I have to audition. For me, I've determined that works well. You kind of have to experiment and see what's going to going to work for you. Great. Okay. Thanks, Patrick. All right. So let me get to the question here. What is the highest note you have hit? Well, I, in bubble lips, I hit this once. <laughs> I know I hit that. Now I kind of pinched it, kind of squeezed it, which is not good. But uh, routinely, I can usually get around the G5, you know. In a song, in a show, I sang the C5 once. But it wasn't a sustained note. It was I had to sing it and then it moved on to another, you know, other notes. That was uh, when I played uh, Juan Perón in Evita. So, you know, in audition, I've sung a sustained B flat. So... And I'm a bass. I shouldn't be doing that. Just because I could do it doesn't mean I should. <clears throat> so I, I try not to go, really, I don't, I usually don't go anymore beyond the G above middle C. I can really lean into that one pretty hard on a mix, in my mix. Okay, so let me go back up and address the question, how do we strengthen what I've just shown you, okay? So here are some exercises that will help strengthen the mix. First of all, do it with a, uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of a slightly dopey, all right? And this time do it on good, good, good. Like you're going to say good. Now I'm not doing it. Notice I'm not saying go 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 go. I'm saying go like good. Do it with ooh lips. Go 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 go. And I'm doing a little bit stupid. Go 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 go. The other thing I'm doing is I'm taking a low breath, fill up with air, and then I pull it in. Go 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 go. Then I reload the air. Go, 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 go. Hold it in until I'm ready to take another breath. Go, 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 go. Now, those are pretty solid notes for, uh, and so they're in mix. I'm not pulling the chest voice and it's not in falsetto. So, go, go, go. Ladies, you can do the same thing starting on the C sharp. Go, 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 go. Now, when you do those a few times and uh, do them as I just showed you, and you start getting a little bit more feeling of solidity there in the bridge. Those are all bridge notes for the men and the women. And when you get that going, then you you might change it instead of guh, you might say it ma 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 keep it on ma uh 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 if it gets a little bit light go back to guh 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 if you start to lose the feeling of being able to kind of lean into it a little bit, um, add the, be sure you're adding that dopey sound back in. And usually you can get deeper into the vocal cords at that point. Now, that's the beginning of getting that feeling of strength in it. And you have to get that first before you can do it in your song. Well, let's say now you're, uh, let's do it with an N. 
no, 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 ladies. No, 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 no. Do it on no. No, 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 no. Now here's the other thing. This is a little bit counterintuitive. Don't squeeze it so hard. When you get up higher in your, uh, take it up to the top of your bridge. No, 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 let go a little bit. No, 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 no. Don't try and hold on. No, 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 no. Let up a little bit. No, let it, in other words, let it go a little breathier. No, 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 no. Go into your second bridge, guys. No, 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 no. Keep, keep thinking about pressing down into it. No, no, no. Let, let it go and then press into that. Let go. No, 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 no. Then you start feeling, wow, man, that gets pretty strong. And I'm not even, I'm not squeezing it. I'm not, you know, I'm not worried about keeping a little edgy feeling on it. I just let go and press into that feeling of letting go. And then all of a sudden the vocal cords really get, ex they, they start doing it on their own without any help from the extrinsic muscles. <clears throat> Ladies, we're in your bridge. No, 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 no. That's a great way to, um, so it's counterintuitive. You don't get a powerful mix by squeezing it harder, or pinching it harder, or or yelling it louder, or you know, you 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 want to come at it both ways, guh, guh, guh. but when you when you get that down, start thinking about as you go higher, relaxing, subtracting your voice from it. Think about let up, let go of that. Not into falsetto, but just a little more air going through. And it's surprising how much stronger it gets. Then bring that feeling down. You'll find that um, strength power comes in as you allow it to go a little more breathy on the on the high notes you get that feeling of release and the vocal cords start kicking in kind of lean into that a little bit and then bring that feeling down into the into your first bridges all right um harsh for and g5 wow yeah so uh so it's like here's my g5 I wouldn't use that in a song, but it's nice to know I've got a G5 in case I want to sing the G4. <laughs> okay. Solution Man, thanks. I have a Music Man audition at 8 a.m. Holy mackerel. I've been having trouble getting up to the FFs at that time. Yeah, you know what? That's At least you know you're on equal ground with everybody else that's there. But I would get up. If I had that, that'd be tough. There's just no way around that. Get up, uh, if you can get up at six, drink a lot of water as much as you can. Just make sure there's a bathroom at the audition <laughs> location. Uh, drink plenty of water to hydrate your, you know, get your body hydrated. Not right when you go in, but a couple hours before. And then warm up an hour before. So I'd be, if I'm singing at eight, I'd warming up at seven. And I wouldn't kill myself. I'd do about 15 minutes. 15, 20 minutes, get it kind of limbered up, um, go through your song once, but I, you know, try not to be singing full out um, 20 minutes before you're going to your audition. Give yourself, well, you have to find out what works for you. For me, an hour beforehand, my voice feels really good. Okay, um, Isaiah, I am Ramish's brother. Oh, cool. 
and the one and the one they were talking about, I can hit chest and voice, but how do you strengthen Passaggio? Okay, I just showed you. EK, it's possible to go expand your range from F4 in full chest to the G sharp 5 in balance, in balanced mixed voice. F4 is too, is, is too high for full chest. You don't want to be in full chest by the time you get to the E, you got to be in your mix. A lot of good tenors will, will bring chest higher and higher, but they're going to crack on the B, a B flat or A, A, B flat, B, uh, four, they're going to crack. So you've got to get in early if you want to go that high. You've got to get into your mix early. And um, you, can't, you can't take, you could sound like you're in chest, but that takes work. You can yell it up there, but that means a, a short career. Your career won't be long. So you can do it fast and in a hurry, but you, you want to plan on surgery on your vocal cords. How do I do this? Which exercise is best for this? So EK, uh, the exercise I've shown today work really great to build your, to build your mix. But it doesn't, uh, does not, these exercises aren't for pulling the chest voice um, up. Yeah, you got to get into your, you got to get into your mix by E above middle C. E4. Roberto Oliveira, thanks for your clear lessons. Do you have some hint to start applying in a song? Yeah, you know, um, I, th I love this somewhat. Uh, this is a, a friend of mine in, in uh, Malta <coughs> said, uh, I'll probably do a video on this someday. He said, uh, he's tried it with bubbles. And I think it works really good. <laughs> My wife started doing that on some songs. She did. She she was speaking the the words with bubble lips, and then doing the song. And immediately she felt she felt it was easier. I'd give that a try. Uh, there's a whole, you know, you have to narrow vowels. When you're singing songs, you have to watch out for your vowels because if you're in mix and you hit one of those vowels in your bridge. It'll kick you into chest. So, um, so there's a couple of tips that I might offer you guys. Number one is you got to know your vocal type. So, be sure to check in the description below this video and uh, get your vocal type. You take a test. You take the test and they, and we email you your vocal type within minutes. And um, because you want to do exercises for your vocal type, if you tend to pull chest, you want to do exercises that are going to help you not pull chest keep the larynx down and get into your mix. If you're light chest, no chest, we want to do exercises that get your vocal cords to come together. If you're flip falsetto, we want to get that larynx, da larynx down and the cords adducted all the way from chest to head so you don't have any interruption so that you don't let go into falsetto. And you can do that by taking the, the take the test, power to sing.com forward slash test or vocalsingingtest.com, I think is, uh, are, there, are there singing, let me see, the vocal singing test, yeah. I can't remember which link is in the description. Or it might be the PDF, get your vocal type. Those will all do it for you. And then on my website, um, powertosing.com, go to the little search bar there and, and look for uh, hacks, vowel hacks, vowel hacks. And that'll help you learn how to narrow your vowels when you're applying these exercises to songs. You start singing, you're getting in your mix, but you're going to have to probably work on a couple words to narrow in order to um, in order to stay in your mix. Okay. And Andrew James Weber. Hey, Andrew James. I found letting go of vocal of a vocal style culture, R&B, rock friends, options, and self-love has helped me progress out of bad habits so much. Andrew, that is profound. Thank you for that comment. I, that, is a, that is a great point. That's a great point. Sometimes the music we sing in the style that some, some sing it in, now not all people do, but 
And sometimes these styles can be pretty abusive to the voice. In musical theater, I have to watch it too because if I do a character role, um, let's say like Captain Hook, who's a pirate, and uh, the first time I did the role, it, it put a lot of strain on my voice. The second time I did the role, I was more experienced and it didn't bother me as much. And so we have to be careful whether, whether you're doing a character role in theater or whether you're singing a genre of music. You didn't mention this, but a lot of people are into scream and metal and so forth. It's death on the vocal cords. And it also throws them out so they, they can't get, get their voices to work in, in other songs with melodies, ballads, and other things, you know. So that's a really great point, Andrew. I'm, I'm really impressed with that comment. Thank you for sharing. Isaiah Bernard, I am at a uh, T5, or, okay, not sure what that is. Justin Gao, hi, nice to have you here. My, so my chest voice goes to only C4, and my head voice starts a few notes higher. Should I extend my chest and then mix it with the head voice? Yeah, Justin, so you're, uh, what's your low note, Justin? How low can you sing comfortably? <laughs> what's your bottom? Bottom note. Isaiah says, I'm a tenor. That's why I'm asking. Isaiah, I don't know what your question is exactly. EK, thank you, EK. Uh, and I work, how can I build confidence to sing in front of people? When there is people, my voice doesn't come out. I understand that. I would uh, start singing as much as you can for your friends and family. To say, hey, I want to practice, and I'm scared to death, and would you be my guinea pigs? Let me sing for you. So, um, now I work. If your technique is solid, and your songs are, are well memorized, and you've put a lot of practice into it, it's a lot easier. If you're worried about your voice, if you're worried about the notes you're going to sing, if you're worried about pitch, if you're worried about not remembering your song, it's always going to be hard. So you got to get your technique down. Once the technique is easy, your confidence really, really grows. It's, it's, it's fun. <laughs> it's really fun. And you want to sing for people at that point. So, you know, you've got, maybe you've got some work to do or maybe you're brilliant. And if that's the case, if you're just really fabulous, uh, but you're still nervous to start with family and friends and then expand that. Start with people who love you and support you. He says, I think I could be whistle tone or maybe they have trained enough to hit these notes in their head voice, honestly. I've heard someone say I use vocal fry when switching difficult vowels on high notes. Is that healthy? I'd like to hear that. I'd have to hear that because a vocal fry is uh, and I don't know how they do that up there. Um, Justin Go, my comfortable lowest note is E2. Okay, so that's similar to mine, Justin. You may actually need to start, uh, I'd have to hear the depth in your voice for sure to know, and I'd have to listen to what you do down here. But it's likely you should bridge where the basso, the true bass, bridges. And that's at the A below middle C. A, B flat, B, and C would be your first bridge. So the exercises you do would be down there. So if you follow this, if you come back and watch this video, do all the ladies' exercises an octave lower, and that'll be your first bridge and mine. That's where I bridge. I bridge where the bases bridge. I took the best uh, the test, however, I do not know where to go next, what videos I need to use in order to do th with them. Gosh, uh, you should have gotten um, an, an, a memo or a note that said, um, pull chest high larynx, and then um, 
But if you didn't, go to PowerToSing.com. Click on Vocal Test. Or sorry, click on Vocal Types. And then click on your vocal type. There are videos and exercises on that page. Okay. Guys, it's, uh, and ladies, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here today. Um, I, it's, we're reaching the top of the hour. This one has been loaded with lots of great information. Let me give you one more exercise here to build and develop your mix. For guys, it would be, no, 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 no. Ladies, it would be, no, 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 no. You want to put the no where the new established it. In other words, if I said, no, 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 I'm opening the no too wide. I want the no to stay right where the new was. No, 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 no. And do that here, and do it here. Do it back down here. If you practice it that way, you're going to build that mix. It's going to get stronger and stronger. And that will, that will be a fast way, faster way for you to get into songs with that same feeling. All right. Uh, when I, the, hi, D. Dansky. When I go to mix, I feel a change in my soft palate. It feels like the mix is coming from there. Is this correct? I don't want to get into bad habits. Um, I, I disregard the soft palate. I don't, I don't teach anything about the soft palate. But um, when, you, when you're going into mix, <laughs> just do the exercise right. It'll go where it needs to. And the soft palate will do what it's supposed to do. And if you're doing that, you're probably in good shape. RJ, it's 2 a.m. in India. Holy mackerel, I wish I could exercise with you. <laughs> Just kidding. That's for you, the information. Thanks for being with us today. Claudia, thank you. Thanks for being here today. Thanks, you guys. Uh, there's tons of more information uh, on PowerToSing.com. You can go there. Uh, go to the, to, the hour uh, to the spyglass. Type in Mix. Or mix singing or strengthening a mix, and there'll be lots of good information for you. I'm Chuck Gilmore with Power to Sing. This is Power to Sing Live 187. You can sing higher with beauty, confidence, and power. See you inside the next video. Thanks. And we're out of here. <laughs>